everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your monthly reading for the month of March 2018 and this is going to be for the star sign of Aquarius. So, so let's see what's in store for my Aquarians out there. <clears throat> Um, well, uh, let me explain how the reading is going to be. The, uh, I will be pulling out three cards for each row. The first row would be for general energies of the month, and the second would be for your career, and the third one would be for um, for the uh, for your love life. And then I'll be pulling one card from the Romance and Zoracle cards for your love life, uh, additional love life uh, message. So let's see. So let's begin. Uh, by the way, I don't uh, um, read reverses, so anything that will come reversed, I will flip it over. So let's see what's in store for you out there. <laughs> All the Aquarians. Okay, so let me pull, uh, pick the cards for your general energies first. Um, all right so you have uh, five of wands, uh, page of wands, and then the ace of cups. Um, I don't know, I feel like, you know, you are... Um, you are seeing the five of uh, sorry if uh, seeing the five of wands i don't see that uh, it is uh, anyhow connected with the uh, i don't see it connected with the uh, you having fight with somebody it's more like your inward or inside it's more of an inside job you are uh, you feel like uh, uh, being pulled in different directions and it's uh, it's kind of uh, tiring for you to you know uh, maybe you have to deal with certain situations uh, um, or maybe you are having different ideas regarding different things and it's like, you know, it's uh, you are um, having a fight with uh, with yourself. It's like, you know, um, you need to decide what to do when uh, uh, it could be f from your, you know, it's, it's more like um, I don't pick up this card as a fight with somebody else or something physical. It's more of an inward or inside a uh, fight that you are having at the moment. And uh, it's like you need to decide on something and you will be deciding it on uh, uh, on it a bit uh, uh, a bit around the, by the mid of uh, March you would be uh, knowing what you want to do ahead in your life and it would be uh, it would be very uh, pleasant uh, it would uh, it will bring you peace um, um, it would be more like um, you will feel good about everything once you decide what you want in your life. Um, it could be uh, obviously since it's a general reading and it, uh, it's like your general energies for the month. It's like um, it's going to affect every area of your life. And uh, But emotionally, you will feel very fulfilled with this decision once you come out of this inner struggle that you're going through or once you decide once you you know you have that one thing on your mind and then then you decide to move forward with it by the end of the month you will be very you know um uh you will be in a very positive situation where you could um you will feel blessed and you know in other words it will be uh whatever decision that you're gonna take or whatever uh conflict that inner conflict that you are having at the moment that will result in something very positive that will bring you happiness from the inside like it would be more of a um it would bring you lots of joys it's a uh, lots of jo joyful situations i would say like it, it's gonna bring you uh happiness peace abundance of love and um i do see more of a fulfilling kind of a situation or scenario where you you feel so happy and content with what you have in your life so um it it may be a busy energy in the start of the month and you would be you know it it may be for some of the uh, for some of the Aquarians out there it may be that you are too busy in the start of the month and you are uh, like i said in the you know in this very start of the uh, reading that it may be that you have uh, you are feeling pulled at uh, different uh you know uh 
you're you feel being pulled by a different um uh could be different uh, tasks in your life could be uh different uh, situations that you have to deal in uh, deal in your life it could be you know any of those uh, those uh, things but once you are uh, you reach uh, by the mid of mid to the end you will be very you know in a very positive situation with you where you would be you would be feeling uh, fresh so to speak so when it comes to your uh, career it's like um it's like uh you are uh you're working a bit too hard um and that is um that is kind of uh you want to get done with this because you want to um it's like you know whatever you are doing if if you are doing so many tasks at a time it is kind of uh, draining you uh uh draining you from uh, draining your energy basically so it's like you know um you are feeling stuck in the situation and it's like you have lots of work to do and uh, you might not be you know uh, having enough energy to um you know uh, to uh, do all the tasks at a time and it's like you know it's even the thought of uh, you know um the whole scene uh, that you're you know the whole situation is kind of tiring it's like um you are feeling stuck you want to uh, get done with this even though it's like it's something that you have to do and you cannot run away from it but but whatever it is it is taking your energy and uh, uh, lots of time and you are feeling too bound to it and you need to uh, um you need to take it slow don't take it so hard on yourself and it's like um let things um i would suggest like you have to do work so uh, choose to do it uh, wisely and plus choose to do it um, in a way where it is not bogging you down take your time take time for yourself out and you know take one thing at a time and it's like um don't uh, don't um don't do things that will make you feel you are overdoing something it's like um you don't need to put um maybe it's time for you to uh take some break and you know move away from this extra uh workload that you are dealing with when it comes to your career um because that is uh, whatever you are working you are so deliberately or you know you you want it to happen like you want it to happen quick so it's like just walk away from the situation if you are working um or i would rather like to say it this way you know if you are feeling uh you know stuck in the situation start see, uh, start feeling the opposite it's like a, um you can avoid this situation by working and still be uh, being positive thinking that this the situation that you are dealing with is temporary it's not you know you are not bound to it you are not you know uh tied to it it's like it it is you know how it is at the moment but um don't take tension of it or don't take stress that you know as if it's going to stay longer than you know uh, it should be because if you take stress or uh, or if you you know think negative about the situation that you for your uh, long working hours or something it will add on to it will be an add on to your you know more stress and you would um you would you know uh you would have uh, i would i would say like you know you don't need to do that just uh just relax do your work and you know it's it, this is a temporary thing this time shall pass and just know that you are working you will be getting you know what uh, what you are working for uh since uh you know seeing your gener even though in these readings it's uh, in these sorry in these uh cards for your career it's more like you know uh you are feeling stuck and you are you know working hard and hard and hard and then you are getting nothing but um i would say it's like again it's your own perspective you know you are looking at the three cups over there that are that have fallen down and you're not uh, looking at the two cups over there so it's more of your own perception of the things uh than the reality so just take how it is this is temporary don't you know over uh think about it so let this time pass and you will come out of it in um 
in a good way so when it comes to your love life it's like uh, you have six of cups page of swords and the seven of cups um it's it's more like um it may be the case that you are it's so busy with your workload that you have in your life at the moment and it's like you you wish to uh, go back in times when you are you know free mentally you don't have so many things to do it's like uh, you want to cut off everything extra that is, you know, that is uh, draining your energy and you want to, um, you want to have, you know, the peaceful time in your life and you could enjoy every single bit of uh, your everyday thing. And it's like, you know, the work um, or whatever that you are dealing with, be that in your, uh, you know, work situation or be that in your home life, maybe you are too busy doing your uh, household stuff and it's like, you know, um, it's getting too much for you at the moment and it's like you need some break uh, from this situation but um, uh, it's like um, whatever it is you are missing uh, spending more time with the uh, with your loved ones you want that time to come when you could relax and have uh, you know maybe have a sip of coffee with your loved ones or you know it could be uh, um, it's it's more like you know you are missing past because you are unable to take out time that you want to take take out from your busy routine for the people you love or care about so um but uh you know uh, the time is about to come when you could re just you know relax and enjoy your time with them it's like you are you are taking it a bit too um seriously and uh, you 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 should know one thing for sure that you know this time is like temporary the busy time the you know the headache uh, that you are taking on too is not gonna last for long what's gonna last for long is this energy because this is going to happen by the end of march and it will you know um it, uh, with this energy i believe you're going to enter into the next month so don't take um things negatively and you know just um it may be the case that you know um when it comes to your love life it may be that you know you or your spouse is also you know it can it can be your uh, boyfriend or girlfriend who is um who is also too busy with their work and it's like you know it's confusing you for you know for some of you it can be this way also like you uh, the one you are dealing with is also busy with their work and it's like you know you are uh, you want to talk to them, but uh, it's like confusing because they are they don't have much time to talk to uh, talk to you, and it's it's kind of you know bothering you, and you are missing your past with your uh, you know somebody uh, you are close to, and um, it it can be either ways. Like maybe you are too busy and you are not able to give them time, or maybe they are busy and you are you know missing the past because you were you were you spending too much time together, and now it's like you know you are too far away and you are not. Uh, talking and you're not uh, having enough time with each other so it's it's like you know this energy the whole energy is temporary it's it it might be you know confusing you at the moment but uh let me pull another card for this and um but but you should be mindful that you know um this energy is temporary it's gonna pass uh and it, you will be you know emotionally happy and satisfied when this whole um uh tiresome energy is gone out of your life it's it's gonna it's gonna um it's gonna bring you happy uh times together with your loved one and even also at your work too uh just don't be um don't be so uh just be optimistic i would say so um because it's i remember in your uh, feb reading too i do remember i said that to aquarians be up uh, be op uh, optimistic about your life and things are not as bad as you might think of them to be just uh stay on the positive more and um just and just know one thing that you are here and it's like it's it's a matter of uh, some time that you know it, the whole situation is going to change don't be confused It's like, um, I feel like you might be picking up fights because of um, the whole situation. Maybe you're, uh, the person you're dealing with is not giving you time uh, or maybe, you know, they are giving you time but uh, you don't have time and it's like, you know, you are 
you don't want to talk to them because you don't have much time and it is kind of you know um, maybe they are missing the previous you <laughs> the one you used to be and they want to talk but you don't have enough time and it's, it's I feel like you're picking up fights and that is kind of you know um, bothering you now it's uh, in your love life uh, in your love department I would say and it is affecting your work life too maybe because um, you are not you are working you are uh, feeling tired to do your work and you are um, not getting enough uh, for the work you're doing and it's kind of you know uh, the whole uh, negative things or negative thoughts are you know adding on and it's like you know it's leading you nowhere but to fights and uh, inner um, conflicts and that is coming out uh, even in your relationship too so uh, so yeah it's like uh, you are feeling left out in the cold or maybe you're, the person you're dealing with is feeling that way so just be patient and let things you know happen uh, by the passage of time but by the end of the month you will be coming out of this situation and sorry and by the end of the month you will be coming out of the situation and you would realize that i was just you know bothering about the whole situation a bit too um in a, a negative way or in an extreme way there is nothing of that sort that you are thinking just um it's, it's just a temporary thing that is going on so don't pick up fights just take your time uh, if you are busy or if your you know spouse is busy just take out time and um let things be uh, don't try to control things don't try to um just just be open about everything don't hide things because that can also lead to conflicts with uh, you know your uh, better half or uh, you know uh, your significant other so it, it's it's like you know you are um coming out of this whole um uh, negative thinking um uh with a positive uh, outcome i would say because it's like um there is nothing negative as such it's all in your head it's all um just uh just take um just keep a balance between your work life and your home life and your love life it's like you know that is very important when the ace of cups come it is kind of you know um uh kind of a, a warning or a red flag i would say that you know you need to look at things in a very balanced way because if you are not keeping balance why, uh, between uh, you know different things that you are doing it can lead to trouble sometimes so i would just uh, remind you that so let's see what's the additional message for your love life is give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so it's like you know you are feeling that you know things have gone bad and you are you know fighting over it and it's like even though there is nothing like that like i said it's more in your head it's 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 nothing like that uh once you're done with the tiresome work or once your partner is done with the tiresome work um everything is fine just talk about things and you know move on with it um it's it's like uh it's like you need to be focused on the more uh, positive side and um uh, this is life like you or he or she you know whoever you are dealing with can get busy because of their work because of their family because of their you know everyone has so much going on in their life so uh, be mindful of that because um um it's it, uh, that's the best way to deal with such situations when you know one of you is too busy and uh uh stuff so it's like you know um give uh give it some time and uh don't uh take drastic uh decisions during this time take take your time and um let this uh busy energy pass and then uh you will realize that you know you've been thinking also wrong and things are all fine things are as beautiful as they used to be there is nothing wrong in the relationship so just be mindful of that and be uh be loving to yourself and to the person you are dealing with so that's uh pretty much it uh, if this re reading resonated with you then do like subscribe and share and um if you would like to have a personal reading you can always reach out to me on my email id um that is in the description box so yeah that's it um hope you have a wonderful month ahead Bye bye